Steel toe sneakers have slowly been gaining in popularity over the last few years. So I decided to buy two of the most popular workwear brands that are somewhat heritage-y in Thoroughgood with the more traditional looking sneaker and Red Wing with their more modern looking sneaker. And we're gonna cut them in half, run them through our test to really figure out which is more durable, which is more comfortable, which is the better sneaker out of the two of them. And what is a steel toe sneaker and why are people buying them instead of boots? So now let's go over the contenders starting with the Thorough Goods first, brands Thorough Good. The style is the composite toe wedge sole mid work shoe. They weigh one pound, 6.8 ounces. They retail for $110 and they're made in China. And the way that Thorough Good positions this is a stylish alternative to the traditional safety toe shoe. The Thorough Good Warehouse One series of canvas warehouse work shoes is designed for casual comfort and trusted safety. Great for job sites that require safety toe. They also feature a slip resistant outsole, electric shock resisting sole and heel, and are non-metallic. And then in the red corner, we've got the brand is Red Wing. The style is the 2282 Ecolite Men's Safety Toe Oxford. Both need to work on their naming schemes here. They weigh one pound, so a good amount less than the Thorough Goods. They retail for $220, so twice the price of Thorough Goods, and they're made in Vietnam. And the way that Red Wing positions this shoe is dial in the perfect fit in this eco-friendly, incredibly light and comfortable Oxford with a BOA fit system. From top to bottom, it incorporates renewable resources and renewable materials. The flexible, breathable upper is made of 50% discarded plastic bottles, while the midsole is made with renewable sugar cane and offers extra cushioning for all day comfort. Underneath the Eco Step is a Vibram outsole is made with 30% recycled rubber and delivers best-in-class slip and abrasion resistance combined with electrical hazard protection and an aluminum safety toe. That's the first time I've ever even heard of an aluminum safety toe. This boot is ideal for light duty work in warehouse delivery, manufacturing, and services. So now start comparing these shoes, starting with the uppers first. So with the Thoroughgood, you have a canvas upper that seems to be mostly cotton. Compare that to the Red Wing, which is a synthetic upper, because like they said, it was 50% recycled bottles. But how do these two different fabrics perform. Well, we did the puncture test. The Thoroughgood took 43 pounds to puncture through and the Red Wing took 47. So not a huge difference, but I thought for sure the canvas would be more puncture resistant. Then we went to the breathability test because that, that seems to be a, an important part of why people choose a steel toe shoe instead of a boot because it's cooler and it's more breathable. And so we ran it on both the shoes and the Thoroughgood was not very breathable. Not a lot of smoke was coming out versus the Red Wing. You could see it coming out through this knit and it's clearly more breathable. And then too, maybe the most important test for the upper, the flame test. We burn the Thoroughgood first, which also is gonna tell us what the material is. And it burned like cotton canvas, so I'm pretty sure it's mostly cotton. And it was fairly self-extinguishing compared to the Red Wings, which we know is, is plastic, it's plastic bottles. So it just melted and it just did not perform well. So out of the two of these, if you're around sparks at all or any flame, you might wanna stay away from these more synthetic uppers like the Red Wing and go more towards uh, canvas. But ultimately both are not fire resistant in any way. And so you might wanna go with a leather sneaker. And then one interesting difference that we'd never really talk about is the lacing system because the Thoroughgoods just have typical cotton laces where the Red Wings, they have a BOA system. And we covered this in the area video. So if you want more information about BOA systems, I'll put that in the description. But they're, they're surprising. I actually became a fan of these BOA systems after doing that video. But to give you the quick pros and cons, BOAs are faster to lace, they're stronger to lace, and you can dial in the comfort without having to retie everything. The cons of the BOA are that it's annoying to replace if you break some of the parts and it's pretty expensive to replace and it just makes the, the shoe more expensive. And I think that's part of why this is a $220 shoe versus the $110 thorough good. The next, if we start looking at the inside of the shoes and the linings, both of the linings are pretty similar. There's really nothing that stands out with the linings, except for on the thorough good, you do have a dedicated counter cover on the inside because you probably notice you wear out your shoes a lot of times at that heel. So having a dedicated patch there that's a more durable canvas is gonna make these a little bit more durable than the Red Wings, which is just that lining at your heel. But we don't know what's inside. It might not be a double layer. It might, it might just be really thin. So we'll wait till it's cut in half to give it the final verdict. And then if we pull the insoles out, both of these are a closed cell foam insole with fabric on top. And really there's not a big difference between this either. And then underneath, you just got that Strobel stitch holding them together. But more importantly, with those removed, it allows us to feel what's on the inside. Because with the Thorough Goods, they call it their wedge sole, which I think just means it's flat but it doesn't really look like a wedge. So we'll see what we get cut in half, but I'm pretty sure the structure of this is it's a lot more similar to old school sneakers with the, the supportive columns, kind of like what you see in like a Stan Smith versus the Red Wings. 
I'm pretty sure it's just foam all the way through because I can feel it under my, my fingers and the insole and then I can feel it on the sides here. So once again, very par for the course for these two shoes because that's more of a traditional way of doing it with the thorough goods and the foam is a lot more of a modern sneaker way of making a midsole. But to see if there's a performance difference between the two of them, we did the ball drop test and both of them scored right around 13 and a half inches. And that's obviously from the inside, it's just a little ball bearing, but it still kind of surprised me. I thought for sure that the, the Red Wing would be more responsive because it's mostly foam. And then if we look at one of the most important parts of a work shoe, which is the outsole, looking at the Thorough Goods, this is an ASTM shock resistant, electrical resistant outsole. It's ASTM slip resistant and it's 100% non-metallic all the way through the shoe. The Red Wing on the other hand is the Eco Step outsole by Vibram, which is a reputable brand. Uh, it's known in the work industry for making some of the best outsoles and it's made from 30% recycled rubber. It's also ASTM slip resistant and electrical re resistant like the Thorough Goods. But the Red Wing also comes with a 475 degree melting temperature. Basically it doesn't melt up to 475 degrees. But to test their performance, we did the bar drop test on them and the Thorough Goods bounced up 4.5 inches and the Red Wing bounced up seven inches. And I believe they're constructed different as well because the, I think the Thorough Good is a vulcanized construction versus the Red Wings is pretty clearly injection molded construction. And we haven't even covered the most important part because this is a steel toe shoe and we haven't tested the steel toes. So we wanted to, bring out the, uh, what do we call it, the, the Project Farm Schmiatine that we ripped off from Project Farm and test both of these steel toes because they're not steel toes. They're both alternatives to steel toes, which the Thoroughgood is a composite toe and the Red Wing is an aluminum toe. I didn't even know they made aluminum toe like safety toes. And they both meet that ASTM standard for safety toes. And both of these are smart choices for a work shoe because they're lighter allegedly they're just as strong and so that's probably why they went with that for these more lightweight work sneakers. So how do they perform? Well we dropped that 100 pound railroad rail right on the toes. The first drop both performed pretty well. It's definitely would save your toes on the first drop but then the second drop both of them failed and especially the aluminum toe on the Red Wing. It completely flattened out compared to the composite toe on the Thoroughgood. I think the Thoroughgood still split and it, I think your toes would be smashed either way but I was surprised at how much the aluminum deformed in the Red Wing. So let's cut these in half, see what's on the inside and really answer all those questions. You know how high quality boots and shoes use really thick leather, they use heavy stitching, they use premium materials because premium materials last a lot longer. And in the long run, a lot of times you get more for your money by buying a quality product rather than a bunch of really cheap products. And that's the exact same thing we try to do with our wallets and all the leather goods that we make at Rose Anvil. And all those things that we judge boots and shoes on, we put into all of our products because we use really thick vegetable tan leather that's 1.8 to two millimeters thick. We use a single piece of thread with two needles, one on each end, and we're weaving that thread throughout this entire wallet in a saddle stitching technique. Because on a horse saddle, you need them to last for hundreds and hundreds of miles, being sat on for uh, hundreds of hours. So everything from high quality saddles that last for a hundred years, to high quality boots and shoes that should last for several years, to our handmade wallets that have a lifetime warranty that should last at least your lifetime. So check out our wallets via the link in the description. We also have our micro adjust belts and a bunch of other products. And by checking out our products is a really good way to support us because all that money goes directly to us instead of these advertisers and stuff. So check them out below and thank you guys. Okay, we got them both cut in half. And if you're not subscribed, consider doing that because that's how we afford to pay for two, sometimes four boots a week or shoes a week to cut in half. It's a free little click. YouTube doesn't show you what you're subscribed to anyway, and it really helps us out. We're trying to get to that million subscriber mark because I want to do some wacky stuff when we hit that million subscriber mark and cut some crazy stuff. So let's see what's inside.
So pretty much exactly what we expected. It's got the structured outsole in the Thoroughgood and the nice squishy foam midsole in the Red Wing. So now to the question, which is more durable? I would say the Thoroughgood is more durable. It has less foam, it's less flammable. It has that dedicated counter cover that's not a double layer, unfortunately, but it is gonna be more wear resistant because it's canvas. And the upper is canvas, which I think is gonna be more abrasion resistant and rip resistant, cut resistant than the knit upper of the Red Wing. But which is more comfortable? I think the Red Wing is, it's actually a very comfortable boot, especially for a steel toe. Steel toes are just notoriously uncomfortable, but with all that foam underneath, it's, it's pretty comfortable. What about which is the better sneaker? Well, I think the Red Wing is pretty well through and through, but it's also twice the price, which brings us to the next question, which is best for the money? $110 versus $220. The Thoroughgood is better for your money. You're probably gonna get just as many wears. It might not be as comfortable, but for half the price, you could buy two of these for the price of one of the Red Wings. And then finally, what would I wear? I, I'd do the Red Wing because even though it's twice the price, sometimes uh, comfort is worth the price. 220 bucks is a lot for a, a knit sneaker that's a steel toe that's inherently uncomfortable, but it's as comfortable as you can make it. But there's a good argument to be made that the Thoroughgood is a better deal and that I might do that because I almost rather have two pairs and alternate between them so they can keep the smell away, they can dry out. So honestly, neither a bad choice. It just depends on what you want and what you need and how much money you have to spend. Overall, between these two sneakers, if you have the money and you're looking for comfort, get the Red Wing. If you are on a budget and you want that, the features and benefits of a steel toe sneaker, the Thoroughgoods seem to be a really good option that's half the price of the Red Wings. So let me know what you guys think. And if you've owned either of these or both of these, put your experience in the comments because it's a great resource for people who are buying these, not just as footwear, but as a tool to perform their job day in and day out. And that's why I like doing this style of video. So thank you guys. See ya.